Welcome! This is what is happening on the Sun today, the 12th of October 2011. Is solar activity building up? We'll see in a minute. But first, our trivia question. Today I've blown up a picture of an object with which I'm sure you're all familiar. What is that object? It doesn't ring a bell? If not, the answer will be given at the end. In the last five hours, the X-ray background has nearly doubled and we've had five C flares. So something interesting must be going on, so let's take a look at the active regions and find out what. We currently have seven officially numbered regions on the disk. Region 1311 disappeared to a spotless plage uh, overnight, but to compensate for that we've had two new regions numbered in the southeast, regions 13, 16 and 17. We still have two as yet unnumbered regions on the disk, and interestingly one of those is giving us some of our sea flares. Region 1309 remains a single spot, so let's start with regions 13, 12, 15 and a new region emerging in that vicinity. Region 13, 12 remains primarily a single large spot, although there is a new uh, satellite spot emerging just ahead of it. Region 1315 has shown us considerable amount of decay in the last 24 hours. However, just trailing it to the east, a new region seems to be emerging. And if that emerges as quickly as 1315 did, it will be a region worth keeping an eye on. Next we turn to region 1314 in the northeast, and that does not seem to have changed a great deal from yesterday. Region 1313 is just entering the southwest quadrant of the Sun, and it seems to have decayed a little since yesterday, although it remains the most magnetically complex region on the Sun at the moment. Next we'll take a look at region 1316, which is one of the newly numbered regions in the southeast. And as you can see overnight, this has grown quite significantly and is the source at least of some of our sea flares. If this rate of growth continues, then we're in for some lively times in the next few days. Next we'll take a look at our other newly numbered region, region 1317 in the southeast, and that doesn't seem to have evolved a great deal in the last 24 hours. Lastly we'll take a look at one of the unnumbered regions that I mentioned yesterday that is still as yet unnumbered, but actually produced at least one of our sea flares. It is in the northeast, just above the equator and you can see that it has grown quite a lot in the last uh, 24 hours. Now let's take a look at the continuous evolution of these regions using the magnetic and uh, sunspot movies from the HMI instrument on the Solar Dynamics Observatory. And here I think the best thing to do is to concentrate on these new regions that are rapidly growing. Region 1316 in the southeast and the unnumbered region in the northeast. In the part of the magnetic movie from yesterday, can you see any hints that these regions were about to emerge in the way that they did? There is still not a lot of data from the AIA instruments, but I'll show it for completeness. There's not a lot to see there anyway. In the high temperature uh, coronal picture from the XXI instrument on the GOES, you can see that there are no major regions behind the east limb due to come over in the next day or two. Note that the dark lane that comprises the coronal hole near disk center in the south almost goes from limb to limb now, which means almost inevitably a high speed solar wind stream will brush by the earth in, in a few days time. We don't have a lot of data from the Soho coronagraph either. However, what data we do have shows there are no major CMEs in progress. I checked that with the stereo spacecraft and they didn't see a lot there either. From the ACE data we see that the velocity of the solar wind increased uh, somewhat overnight and the density dropped to very low values. The high energy electron flux seems to be recovering slowly from the depths that it sunk to a couple of days ago and with no major flares we still don't have a proton event. The auroral zone seems a little more active than it was yesterday, however the KP index has only increased slightly uh, compared with the previous day's values, and NOAA has issued no space weather alerts in the last 24 hours. So in summary then, the X-ray background has risen to the B6 level, the sunspot number has risen to 113, the radio sun intensity has increased to 130 solar flux units, the solar wind speed is increased to 410 kilometers per second with a density of less than one proton per cubic centimeter. However, geospace conditions remain quiet. My forecast for the next 24 hours is that C flares are likely, M flares are possible, X flares are still unlikely. The sunspot number will go higher, coronal mass ejections remain likely, solar wind speed will remain relatively low, and it is unlikely that we'll get a major geomagnetic storm in the next 24 hours. In the composite coronal image, we can see that there are major regions behind the northeast limb about three to four days out. There seems to be nothing in the south, unless of course something develops in the meantime. Now for the answer to our trivia question. 
Let me pan back a little bit here and see if this helps you guess what the object was. No? Okay, well I'll turn it by 90 degrees, see if that helps. Still no? Okay, well, let's pan back further and see what the object was. It is of course Saturn. You're seeing the shadows of the rings on the planet Saturn as seen by the Cassini spacecraft. Neat, aren't they? So that's it for today. Keep safe. Bye for now.